pull to the left. Hi, I'm Abby Grumion, your host of Common Sense, and today we're featuring a business that defines its success by helping you take the guessing work out of your golf game. We're featuring Precision Golf Centers in Torrance, California. Precision Golf Centers is the premier indoor golf practice facility in the South Bay. So we wanted to take the technological advancements of golf ball tracking and make it accessible to just about everybody. Craig Nahr and Jason Horikawa are the owners of Precision Golf Centers. We have club head tracking, ball tracking, you can play skills challenges, closest to the pins, long drives, and you can play a full 18 course in roughly 45 minutes and then uh, track every single shot in that course. But the journey to owning an indoor driving range didn't start out in the 19th hole for these two entrepreneurs. We start out as personal trainers. We work when the working people are not working. So you gotta do something to fill that time. I knew Jason had a background in hockey, co-workers at the time, and then I just invited him to the range and we kinda just took to it like a duck to water, right? And naturally, the pair kept playing and just got a little competitive. Practice, 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 getting better day by day. And the next thing you know, we're like, we're decent golfers. As they progressed in the game, they realized the need for quantitative data to take what was once a hobby and turn it into a science. We would go sneak into like, well not sneak in, but walk into like golf smiths, Roger Dunn's and use their, you know, simulators. But we couldn't use our own clubs. So then we would just go and hit the demo clubs just to kind of see our shots, have fun on the simulators. But man, it would be pretty cool if we had our own place like this. Out of necessity came the mother of invention and put the spark of entrepreneurship into something that was once just a dream. I've always wanted to be a business owner since I was really young. It'd be cool to own a driving range, but living in the South Bay, it's like good luck coming up with the land, right? So I kind of thinking about that on my ride home, like bummer, you know? And it was kind of like, why don't we just take it indoors? And when conditions may not be optimal to go on the driving range, Precision Golf Center is the perfect option. We give you the ability to book your tee time online. You know that you're gonna get in here at 5.15, you're gonna be done at 6.15, you're gonna be home at 6.35 for dinner. And so what I like to say is, is that, you know, at the range you go there to hit balls, but when you come in here, you come in here to practice. And so, I mean, it's not for everyone. Like, we want golfers that wanna get better at golf. And all the ones that do love the facility. Undaunted by the traditional means of business that wasn't supportive, the pair began to think outside the box. One of my clients is Sam, and in talking to Sam, he was like, man, that sounds like a great idea. I'm in if you guys want to sit down and take a meeting. And as they say in business, it takes 100 no's to get to a yes. All right, man, take a meeting. Let's do it. From there, he had a few questions, but he was, he was on board. He's ready to go. He loved the idea. He, he comes here like every day. He's always here, always likes to play. He's actually getting pretty good at golf now. Never played golf ever in his life until right now. Don't slice that ball. When we come back, we'll take a tour of Precision Golf Centers and find out what it's like to work in an indoor driving range. But first, trivia. On average, how many dimples are on a golf ball? That and more when we come back. Welcome back to Common Sense. So, the answer to our trivia question. On average, how many dimples are found on a golf ball? While there isn't a specific set of number of dimples that should be found on a golf ball as required by the official rules of golf, the most popular golf balls have between 380 and 432 dimples. The dimples on the ball serve a very specific purpose. It creates a thin, turbulent boundary layer of air that clings to the ball's surface, allowing the smoothly flowing air to follow the ball's surface a little bit further around the back of the ball, decreasing the size of the wake. So, what's it like to work at Precision Golf Centers? Advantages include a relaxing working environment, the challenge of a new business, and best of all, you get to golf whenever you're done with work. When someone comes in, we have uh, sensors that we put onto the club. Pretty much what the sensors will do is the quad will pick up those sensors and it'll track where the face is coming in at impact. So it'll pick up lie angle, club head speed, club face to path, 
swing path, like either out to in or into out, ball speed, spin rates, side spin, where the ball would have went, uh, carry distance, and total distance. So if you're trying to, a golfer trying to figure out your yardages, you can figure out your average yardages for your clubs. Um, if you're trying to work on swing path or club face path, and just really work on your game that way. So I know what you're thinking. My shot's really not like that. It's wrong, right? What it's showing us is our actual carry distance, our actual distance, and naturally, no, I hit it farther than that. This is wrong, this is incorrect. And then as you dive a little bit deeper into it, I find out that they have the club tracking aspect of it as well, not just ball data, where in most manufacturers, you're only gonna find ball data, right? It's gonna show you, it's gonna show you the pro tracer, where it's landing, how far it went. That's really all it's gonna tell you where when you open up the software to all of its capabilities and you include the club head tracking, for me as a numbers guy, I like fell in love. There's people who have done launch monitor, launch monitor comparisons and indoors, it is the gold standard. What our aim is, is to educate our clientele that don't quite understand the numbers yet, right? Because it's a little bit more of a newer technology in the golf game. What the quad allows you to do is when you go to make swing changes, you're gonna get instant feedback shot to shot if you're making changes in the right direction. So how can the progression be measured in something that's tangible that I can understand and see? Mine improved a lot. <laughs> yeah, so we actually just played this past weekend in yeah, a tournament. Played yesterday. Yeah, and so my driving distance is through the roof. Um, so good drive used to be around about 265 would be a solid drive. Uh, we were on the cart, we had GPS, I had drives of 288, 293. I played really well. I was happy with my results. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just helps out with like, you know, hitting the ball more consistently, like chips, you know, all your approach shots, just better contact with, with your clubs. And every shot, like my misses, you know, you know, used to vary like left or right, you know, 30, 40 yards. Now all my misses kind of come in. So where I, I miss now, I'm like, oh, I'm on the green still, just a long putt. So is this just limited to a driving range, or can I actually play a round of golf on the simulators? Currently we have nine different courses. They're all real golf courses. Some of the ones you may recognize is gonna be Olympic up in San Francisco. We have Pelican Hill, we have Congressional, and we have Carnoustie. And so those are our main courses right now. We're gonna be adding more in each month, launching off hopefully with a tournament. And so kind of everyone can taste the course for the first time in a tournament setting. These courses, the undulation, the topography, the slope of the green, the water, unfortunately, sometimes, is all in there. And so the idea being that you could play this course, go to Pelican Hill on the weekend or for your birthday, whatever it may be, and you're already gonna know the layout of the course. You already know not to miss right on hole seven, and you're gonna know that there's water short left on hole 10, whatever it may be, you're gonna, you're gonna know where that course is. So with all of this technology, how much is this gonna cost? Monday through Friday, we're open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and then Saturday, Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Walk-in rates we have at $45 an hour. Uh, we have hourly packages as well. We also have a Fairway Club membership that we're kind of pushing people towards. It's gonna benefit them to get the membership. We want people to come in and practice and get better. Right, so we'll reward that. So with the membership, uh, it's a three month commitment, month to month after that, no hours ever expire. So it's for a golfer that wants to come in either every other week, once a week, or twice a week. And they can also buy additional hours on top of that at that same rate. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll find out what Precision Golf Centers is doing to give back to the community. But first, more trivia. Who had the longest ever televised putt? That more when we come back. Meetings are well, meetings. Unless, that is, you're meeting in Torrance. Torrance has more than 67,000 square feet of total meeting space. Plus, we've got 1.5 miles of our very own beach, amazing Southern California weather, and are situated just 15 minutes from LAX. And after all your meeting and greeting, don't let the opportunity to explore pass you by. Do some team building and express your artistic side. You could even become a master chef or just eat like one. And of course, make time to stop and smell the roses. And spend as much time as you can getting in touch with nature. Greet the day and meet the Torrance way. So, are you in? Welcome back to Common Sense. So, the answer to our trivia question, who had the longest ever televised putt? Dave Peltz was regarded as a short game wizard and made the famous 200 foot putt at Whistling Straits in the 2004 PGA Championship. 
<laughs> I cannot believe it. All right. So the choice for Precision Golf Centers to make Torrance their flagship was an easy one. I was born and raised in Torrance. Same here. Yeah. Thanks. No reason to go anywhere else. I think Sam was too. Yeah. Um, no, it's just, that's a nice city. Part of what makes this business unique is their identification of using other businesses in the area to create a win-win for themselves and for their customers. What we have partnering with uh, Zimmergy, they have a service where you brew your own beer. And in that process, there's about a 65 to 75 minute period where the beer is doing its thing. And so during that time, instead of just sitting around drinking more beer, people are heading over and playing around a golf, getting around a golf and hitting some golf balls. And then when they're done playing their round after that, after the beer is done its thing, they head back over there and they enjoy their brew, their craft. But part of giving back isn't just interfacing with the community. It's giving more value to the customers and to the game itself. Our current level of community involvement right now as we're, as we're getting traction is contributing to charitable golf tournaments. Um, really, the only thing we're able to do right now is give out free services. What I see going forward is I, I think we have a great opportunity to help people um, raise funds for, for great organizations. And I think we can help the high school golf teams in the area, the junior golf teams in the area, you know, raise funds to send them to tournaments and for them to play courses that they otherwise wouldn't be able to play. Part of the Fairway Club membership, the Fairway Club Academy. And so the Fairway Club Academy would both encompass learning the numbers on the system. So we use some technical terminology earlier that not everyone can understand. And I don't expect everyone to understand it, right? But I want to give everyone the ability to learn it so that they could understand their swing the way I understand mine and all of its beautiful flaws, right? So that they can make the changes themselves without an instructor or enlist an instructor to help them out. And then encompassed with that, what I would like to have is, everybody loves a tiger stinger, right? But with our instructor, people could come in for a tutorial on how to hit that shot. And so from flop shots to high fades to high draws, um, I just want there to be more tools in everybody's arsenal to save your round, right? It's like, instead of a triple, you walk away with a bogey, right? I mean, those two strokes, when you're getting down to single digit handicaps are huge, right? They can save your round. And so more birdies, less bogeys. One thing's for sure, Precision Golf Centers is truly a hit in Torrance. Thank you so much to Precision Golf Centers for welcoming the Common Sense production team to the driving range. Whether you're new to golf or have been playing for years, you can head over to Precision Golf Center at 22761 Hawthorne Boulevard, or you can visit their website at www.precisiongolfcenters.com. And while you're online, head over to our Facebook page, Common Sense Torrance, to see what happens behind the scenes. And hey, why not give us a thumbs up too? So whether you're a beginner who's trying to take that hook out of your drive, or you're someone who's more serious and you're dreaming of the PGA, I'd like to thank you for watching Common Sense, where we take a rare behind the scenes look at local business and explore their secret to success. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.